Hi guys and welcome to today's vlog. We're going to be reviewing the Osmo Mobile 3 we got at Christmas as a present. Um, we're just going to talk about our experience with it so far and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. So I'll be putting a picture up in a second of what you receive in your um, box when you get one. So as you can see with the um, kit you get your obviously a gimbal, you get a safety strap which I've already connected to mine, you got your instructions there, you get a power lead and you get a nice velvety bag to store it all in. I would honestly recommend getting yourself a better bag um, to keep it all in because you know um, so something maybe like a camera bag or something like that probably would be better okay so the actual gimbal itself is really well built it's um, thick plastic um, but you can just feel the construction in it is really good um, even down to like all the joints and that, you know, they just feel really well built. Um, very impressed with the build quality of it overall. Um, like I say, you know, it, it's a full mobile phone, so I haven't tried it on any other kind of cameras or anything like that. I don't know if it would work with another camera. I couldn't tell you that, but honestly, with our phones, the only downside we found with it, um, there might be a hack to it or something, but basically we've got like phone cases on our phones and the, I don't know if I can, that's the kind of clearance and our phone cases are quite chunky. So um, we have to take the phone out of the actual case when we're doing filming, um, which can be a little bit um, annoying sometimes because if you were to drop it, God forbid, but if you did, you might damage your phone as well. So that's just something to bear in mind if you've got quite a chunky phone case. Um, but we're going to get ourselves some nice thinner phone cases for when we are out and about filming with this. Um, like I say, it's a very nice unit. It's uh, very good to hold in your hand. It's got a real good grip on it. Um, as you can see, it's like a rubberized grip and you've got your, obviously, your safety strap that you can have around like so. Um, you have on the back of it, you have a trigger there. And on the front, you obviously have your power, camera, and then your joystick. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how you set it up. So, here's the gimbal. And what we do, we need to put the mobile phone into the gimbal. What I'm gonna to say to you is don't switch it on just yet. So, I've got MC's phone here. I've checked the messages, everything seems to be okay, so I'm quite happy with that. She's been cheeky to me tonight as well. She said that um, I'm wearing the same hoodie as I wore in the last vlog. I'm a bit upset by that as well. But anyway, so, there's the uh, phone, and what I'm going to do is stick that into the. So, like I was saying, you have to. Well, we got quite thick phone cases on our phone, so a little bit. I'm going to take, prise those apart, and put the phone in. Bear with me; it's a bit awkward trying to do it on the camera as well, but. What you need to do is make sure that on the front you've got the arrows, okay? And what you wanna do is make sure your camera is facing where the red arrow is. So like on there is the camera and there's the red arrow, okay? What a beautiful beast. Okay, and now we can switch it on to power it up. So if we switch it on. And it'll go straight into portrait mode. Okay, and what we need to do is just make sure when you're setting it all up that your buttons aren't within the clamp. 
So from here, I'll show you the rest of the setup. What you must do when you um, get your phone and your gimbal together, you need to set up the app on your phone. And it runs on the um, DJI Mimo, Mimo app, and I'll put a description and that in here in a second. Um, you need to make sure you set that up because that works alongside the actual gimbal with the phone and it also acts as an editing um, suite as well on there. So um, obviously you need to get that downloaded first um, and I'll show you that now. phone in the gimbal and what I'm going to do now is power it on so if I go into there press the power button I'm just going to do that now and hold it down for a second and you'll see the little green light and then that sets it up into portrait mode you can press that again three times and that will move it round to different positions. Twice, we'll bring it into landscape three times. So with the Osmo 3, some of the key features of this unit is that it has a 15 hour battery life on a full charge. It's more compact than its predecessor. So with its predecessor, I believe that the storability of it was quite poor because it was quite bulky, whereas this one actually folds back in on itself. So it makes it easier to store, especially if you're going on journeys abroad or wherever else. It has a feature on there um, as part of the app that you download called Active Tracking. So what it will do is it will recognize your face or an object and it will make sure that it tracks to keep that object or face within the picture at all times. So as you're moving, it's keeping that into focus. It also has Bluetooth connection. So obviously because you are using the app with it, you need the Bluetooth connection. And what that basically does is when you're using all the different uh, buttons and that, it also tallies with your phone. So it's making sure that those settings are used all the time. Um, the other things it has is time-lapse functions um, there's a couple of really really good features on the app itself um, for some special effects um, they're definitely worth keeping an eye on um, like I say myself I'm not a huge techno person so you know this is all still quite new to me but some of it on there you know there's some real amazing effects you could do with this um, like for a beginner's price point I'd say that this for like, well, under the hundred pound mark is really good. Um, there's some good deals out there with some of the um, high street names. Definitely worth keeping an eye out. Um, as a starter gimbal, I'd say, yep, definitely go and have a look, have a go at it. It's not too complicated. Um, it's quite easy to use. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a follow up video on this um, over the next couple of weeks, um, just to show you some of the footage that we've been able to uh, film. Unfortunately, during, due to the fact that we're in a lockdown, we haven't been able to get any like kind of real good footage that warrants for this video. So I'd like to just do a second part to this video in a couple of weeks time. But again, you know, like I say, definitely for value for money, I would say that this gimbal is definitely worth it. Um, obviously, you know, I've not owned a gimbal before. So this is just my honest, opinion on it but for something to start you off and to give you better quality pictures when you are out and about and stop some of the you know the up and down if you're doing it freehand um it definitely does work on that um i've used it on my um stand here when i've been doing the other videos and yeah it is really good so like i say any questions please just put a comment and i'll try and answer them as best as i can um, I just hope that that's kind of helped you 
making your mind up. Obviously there is other videos out there to watch who will be able to give you a bit more of the technical side of it. But this is just my review of the one that we've just recently bought. I hope you enjoyed and please take care and stay safe. Thank you.